Live from New York, it's the show that will score more than nine points in the first quarter hour. It's first things first. Today. Oh, shot at you guy. Well, I haven't seen acting that good since Space Jam 2. That was a tour de force wow. press conference because he also, when he was asked about Ja, he's yeah. like, great players in this league. He's like, when they get gone, mm. they score 20 in a row. He goes, some can even score 29 out of 30. But all which with is, a straight which face. Is a, which, He's right, just like right Which down is the a middle. reference to his own performance. So go ahead. What's the question, Wilds? Was Dylan Brooks trash talk to blame for this disaster? Of course Dylan Brooks is to blame. He wow. said he pokes b- bears, and this is what happens. And Brew doesn't know we're doing this. Mm. But in light, of, Secrets again. in light of us bringing live animals on the set, Barry, bring out the bear. No, I'm just kidding, Brew. There's no bear coming out behind you. I was going to poke a bear behind Brew. Got a guy named ba- Barry is the bear. Yeah. Barry and yeah, the Yeah, I'm sorry about that. That's what I had to think of. Hey, Barry, name. bring out the bear. Here's the deal. Smart people picked the Grizzlies to win this series. Yeah. And what happened? We can't say, well, they don't have Ja. Because Ja, well, they didn't have anyone in the first quarter. But Ja's obviously healthy. Healthy enough for 45, 9, and 13. So what happened. Dylan Brooks' trash talk locked in the entire Lakers team. A team that we know loves LeBron. A team that looks at LeBron as their leader. So much so, Wilds a couple weeks ago, Tess drove the do the Lakers like LeBron so much it hurts Anthony Davis's ability to be good take. Still Remember believe, that? Still believe that. With the whole them bang <laughs> in the locker room. 100% believe that. And so because their guy was challenged. They, as a collective, stepped up and played in an intensity. We have not seen seen this team play, in my opinion, all year. And the Grizzlies, on the other hand, said, wait, the reason we're dealing with this is because of yapping from literally the worst player in these playoffs so far? Oh, Nick, that's not fair. It is. Can we show you Dylan Brooks' numbers quickly? 55 guys have taken as many shots as Dylan. How's he doing? Holy cow. Well, he's last in points. He's second to last in field goal percentage. Tied for last in rebounds. (laughs) Third to last in assists. Second to last in steals. Last in blocks. Last in win shares. And, of course, tied for the most ejections. Tied. Tied for for the most. most. Yeah, tied for the most. Yeah, tied tied for for the most. (laughs) Got ejected once. So, Brew, he's been bad on defense. He's been the worst offensive player in the entire postseason. He won't stop shooting. He won't stop talking. And now his team gets rolled in the first quarter and that ended the game. Yeah, I'm going to say it's the reason they lost. I I disagree. I I don't think it's the reason. Just coincidence? No. I mean, look, obviously LeBron's the Lakers leader. Do I think that Austin Reeves and Rui Hachimura were like, we got to go protect our guy? (laughs) Just like LeBron said, I'm above making statements. I don't think the role players protect LeBron. I think LeBron protects the role players. So I don't think they were all hyped. Like, we, he went at our guy. Let's go protect. I just don't see that. Can I? I I've Sorry. seen a LeBron James blitzkrieg. All right. I go back. I was right there sitting in, in one of the early, early rows, low rows, watching him go for 21 points against Boston in 2010. In game game three, he scored 38. They beat the big three Celtics by 29 points. He had 21 in the first quarter. That if, if LeBron came out and did that, then I would say, oh, Dylan Brooks was the reason. He responded that way and, and put the team on his back. LeBron played very well. He was a huge part of the big lead, but he wasn't the only reason. I mean, they have three guys scored eight no, points. No, I agree. Rui scored it, seven. LeBron was utterly brilliant. But I, do, So you think the, Lake, the, the Grizzlies having the worst quarter any team has had, regular season or postseason, in any quarter all year, and the Lakers being up 26 after one is a coincidence? You think it's just it's a it's a game, they, but no. I mean, thirty five to nine is not a, a regular occurrence. You, I mean, they got two of the best players in the league. They got one of the greatest players of all time. Actually, two of the greatest players of all time. And John Morant was not himself in the first quarter. Now he true. was great the last right. three quarters, yeah. but he and they shot horribly. Dylan Brooks has been talking junk all year. Now, mm. if somebody who doesn't talk trash comes out and says that. Or if he this hadn't done this all different. season, okay. I could get it. But he's been talking trash to Kyrie, to Donovan Mitchell, to uh, players all over the league, and all of a sudden they're bothered by it? They've been doing it all year. But, Brute, 
They scored nine points. Thank you. They so looked, they missed shots because they Dylan Brooks scared. was talking. He looked scared out there. Well, he He's looked scared in warm-ups they all when they were booing shots. Mm-hmm. Bruce, so you, just, you do think this is a coincidence. I just don't believe I just think it's a like – it's a, it was a no, but this great is, quarter by the Lakers. Right, but this is – it, it, it is to me an odd turn of events – that the Grizzlies have their worst quarter of basketball since John Morant's been on the team. The Lakers have one of their best quarters since LeBron's been on the team. And it's in the first quarter that is played since Dylan Brooks did a five-minute dissertation about how old and busted LeBron is. So what, what did his play, what did his teammates, how did that affect I, his team? I think it put extra pressure on a team that's not ready for it. I think that instead of coming off the best moment of their season, a win to stay alive without John Morant and and trying to build off that momentum, they knew like everyone else, you don't think all the the few days leading up to the series, they were like, oh boy. And now LeBron's, is LeBron going to go for 40? No, they're not scared. Uh, They're not scared. Okay, then it's just a massive coincidence that they played like that in the first quarter. Because once that first quarter was over, they were fine. So what was the difference? Well, the difference was that they got into the game and they were, well, this thing's over. And then they ended up playing free and and carefree. I I just don't believe, I'm shocked that you don't think Uh, those things have anything to do with it. I don't think this thing had anything to do with it because he's been doing it all season and they've been fine. Uh, Not a great performance from Dylan Brooks. Okay, unnecessary and excessive contact was flagrant too. Is the beep actually made it worse? To be 100 yeah. <laughs> percent. Uh, okay, so before I ask you, bro, here's another clip that I saw from my old coworker Curtis. Shout out to Curtis from a, a Grizzlies feature earlier this year. Take a listen to this. Well, <laughs> there you go. There one. you go. So do you buy that his villain <laughs> reputation uh, led to the ejection? No, first, let me address him saying the media yeah. is yeah. to blame for his villain record. Well, you just showed him it wasn't saying great. I'm villain the villain. Well, maybe the media maybe embraced it. All right. I don't know. And I'm a guy that kind of, sort of, kind of, sort of likes Dylan Brooks. Kind of, sort of. You like him. Yeah. Kind of, sort of. I, I didn't really like uh, <laughs> yeah, you're last sour. You said they're unlikely. I'm sour because like he's costing you your Because now face. he's talking about the media. But no, here, here we go. <laughs> Loyal to the media. Dylan. Oh, yeah. I forgot. D- go ahead, this go is go. like go. Dennis Rodman blaming the media <laughs> for saying – they blame the media made it out to be like I'm a loose cannon. <laughs> you know? I mean, really? Come on. All right, so here we go. Dylan Brooks, let's let's look at this. When he pushed the cameraman oh, against the heat. This. Watch this. I don't know if we can get a I, really yeah, nice. Yeah, a he spot. shoved the cameraman, injured him, and was fined thirty-five thousand dollars by Joe Dumars in the NBA. What a shot though. Is that the media's fault? I mean, literally. Because yes, you they are decided the media. to shove him. Okay. The media uh, let's decided go, to be there. Let's Put go there. to Cleveland. Here we go. Oh, uh, well, that's I my yeah. Cleveland. Remember, he got in the brouhaha with Donovan Mitchell. Look at that. That's just a oh, natural action. Donovan you fall on the ground and and look where you hit him. You you jumped on the media the other day for saying, I "How forgot. dare oh, you whoa. think I would hit a guy right there?" Yeah. Or, where you go, right there. And so <laughs> I could keep going. <laughs> I could, and Donovan that said after outrageous. that he does dirty things. Yeah. All right, he makes dirty <laughs> plays. He's Russell Westbrook called him trash. Yeah. Well, I mean, we could go on and on and on with all the incidents he's been in. He's been fined almost three hundred fifty thousand dollars this yeah. season for unsportsmanlike conduct. He player. led the league in technical fouls. All the media is doing, Dylan, is reporting this. So I don't blame the media when you've called yourself. Dylan, the villain, for just reporting what you've done, yeah. and people look at that and saying that's real, villainous behavior. Real quick, can I All ask right? you a follow-up? I do think it had a little something to do with it because that's you already hit, you already hit Donovan Mitchell there. And so do, we don't, don't we're not above you to hit you somebody think there. The refs were on higher alert. On interactions between Brooks and LeBron, like if that was, or Tyus, maybe just watching Brooks, Brooks right? If that were Tyus Jones, I don't think he gets thrown out for that. And I understand it sounds weird because Harden did get thrown out in the Embiid game, yeah. and Harden's not known as a dirty player. But I think that to me is totally fine. Like everyone should not be Absolutely. get the same benefit of the doubt. Well, that's, then, you, then he's right. If you think that he, he was on high, that the referees yes. were on high alert, but not because of the media. Point. No, but no, because right. it's the because media didn't just be like, you know what? Let's turn this guy into a villain. He's a cartoon character. Well, he's become. He's, he and this is his. It's wild. smart because this is how he's, he's going to make 
making is, a name yeah, exactly. for himself. It does have a nice ring but to it, Lyle, Dylan the villain as well. The, this is where he's actually made now the biggest mistake, the most career-altering mistake. He broke character. I know. In yeah, not talking point, to the media point. after the game and then playing the woe is me thing, he broke right. the number one rule of being a professional wrestling heel. <laughs> Never break character. Hey, we're talking about Dylan Brooks or? Dylan Brooks. We're talking about, <laughs> talking about, talking about <laughs> Dylan Brooks. Like, I, can I, Wilds, can we? He yeah. did. I'll be Dylan Brooks. Yeah, I've got a script. And you oh, wow. be the media. I'm and the media. I'll tell you how he should have handled this. I need this. my hat. If he at least news. wanted, they had already lost the game, but you can try to win the long-term war of, I'm going to stay true to who I've been. Oh, okay, wow. here go we ahead. go. Yeah. Here we go. Did you mean to hit LeBron in the groin, let's call it? <laughs> no, man. I thought he was going to cross over, but his old ass so slow, I didn't get to the ball. Sorry. So, no. I, mean, I guess maybe I did, but not the one I was reaching for. No. Okay. That's no. a great answer. Yeah. Uh, did, do you think your trash talk from the previous game affected yeah. the start of this game? No, it's, it sure as hell affected pregame. See that old man? People tell me he's one of the greatest players ever. All humbled me, Dylan Brooks. I was standing on my sideline. You guys see before the game, he walked over to me, started talking to me. I was locked in, ready to help my team. What else you got? All right. has, has LeBron did he didn't LeBron get 40, say? and you weren't even around. I don't think he was going to, even if you stayed in the game. But has LeBron earned your respect? What? You know the answer to that. Yes. Did he get 40? No. Did he even get 30? <laughs> no. Has he got 30 yet? This? <laughs> no, he what? hasn't. No, so no. Listen, hey, That's great. props to the Lakers. They defended home court. I'm happy for them. It's their first home playoff Not game bad. they've had. What? Aside from that bubble fake championship they won, don't care. Okay. Don't care. We'll be also, back. That yeah, would definitely be now. staying in character. That, that, but that's what you got to do. But then you're going to get suspended for, like, purposely. No, well, I guess you no, no, no. Or no. Or I was going for the cross. Oh, no. <laughs> Maybe they yeah. would have suspended him. Yeah, that, okay, well, then wait until uh, wait, wait until they announce they you're not being suspended. Like but that. don't go to Tim McMahon and say it's the media's fault. That's not embarrassing. Especially That's when we got all, we've got a whole good. history. We just showed a little bit of it. I know. Yeah. You, me, come on. Dylan, stop. Stop it. Ridiculous. Pretty good. Yeah. Game four in L.A. tonight. Uh-oh, bro. Lakers favored by five. Uh-oh, bro. Are they? Yeah. yeah. What uh-oh, you uh-oh in for? Well, this is your, one of this, your this one was This one was tepid, though. But I'm staying with my tepid prediction. I'm staying with – I'm staying with Grizzlies winning this series. No, you're not. No, no I'm, it's okay. I, I'm going to stay with it's it. It's okay. No. I, what do they call both, me? Mr. Uh, no, I don't know. Mr. Consistent. I don't know. No, that's well, not him. I'm not the one that switches mid-series. I did that picks. once ever. I was. I oh, was it happened to be the NBA Finals. COVID. You could okay. give me a break. You're, you're, your heart's not in Bro, it. Bro, you don't I'm not this. switching. Bro. Bro, you don't John Moran this. is ready. Yeah, he could score 45. Then what would happen? They don't. He might get a little help. How about that? Do you? Jaron Jackson might step up. Might. Help him. I think Jaron Jackson will step up. Save your children. This is their season. I think playing every other day now will help the Grizzlies, not the Lakers. Okay. I think Ja, I'll be, ja that first quarter wasn't himself. And then by the time he got going, the game's over. Yeah. Okay? So, Ja now will come out with added confidence. I Good. think that will bolster his teammates. Yeah. They know this is their season's end. They shot horrifically from three-point land. Now, they're not a great three-point shooting okay. t- team, but they're better than they were uh, in game three. So, I think they come out and they hit more three-pointers. Ja does his thing. And I think Anthony Davis. You're looking at me shaking your head. We haven't seen, Let's see if Anthony Davis duplicates this performance. He's capable, but he's always capable. Yeah, he won't need And he to. does it. He so, okay. I, he, I think the Grizzlies he, can come out and even this okay. thing up. And yeah. we got a real series on yeah, our hands. They won't, and we don't. Uh, Anthony, don't. Anthony Davis is, is not going to have to have a 30 and 15 game because this will be the night we actually, for the first time this postseason, see a fully engaged LeBron. Oh well, thank you. He's, fully engaged. Yeah, like LeBron. LeBron consistently attacking the basket. LeBron engaged the wrong word. He looked but engaged le- in game uh, three. It, the first, yeah, for, the first, the yeah, for the first, yeah, for the first quarter. And then it was then everyone well, the cruise control. Over, exactly. Right. What I'm saying is I think so LeBron so far this postseason is amazingly shooting over fifty percent from the field despite 
shooting 20% from three. He leads all of the playoffs right now on two-point field goal percentage. Sad being able to hit a jump shot, shooting 67% from two. I think he's going to have 30-plus points. I think he is going to feed off the Staples crowd, and I think the Lakers are going to uh, end this series this evening. I know technically you think it's it won't a be route. over. Yeah, okay. I think that this this I, route, I, I don't know. I think the Lakers are in control the entire game okay. and that LeBron has his first great game of these playoffs because this is a step on their throat type of game. And I think that's exactly what they're going to do. Wild, okay. do you have a take on this? Uh, I've been wait- Well, if you're going to score don't 30 Don't run pro- from me. Don't run from well, me. Well, I, 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 I'm giving you a chance to go with the Grizz. They scored nine points in okay. the first quarter. Okay. I'm sorry. Okay. I cannot support that. All right. Okay. Speaking of I things cannot support a team Wilds that can't, can't do. All right. So they, they're going to lose. That yes. includes right. okay. his actual oh, job. Because Wilds has a over. job, which is to send tweets during Laker games. Three However, this <laughs> Lakers game, the Lakers were up by 27 points after the first quarter, 26. 26. So, Brew, let's see all of Wilds' tweets about the Lakers from this weekend. Show them, please, Hubs. Oh, that's right. There's none. Wow. That's not ha- true. Oh, really? Wow. You sent zero tweets about the Lakers. You sent a couple tweets about Dylan Brooks and the Grizzlies. Not one about LeBron. I have to not send them about, about the Lakers, the Lakers well, I don't specifically. Know. I don't know. Oh, Rui Hachimura's no. great job from the mid-range. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just telling you. I'm just telling you. We 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 search we got the entire internet as you, you do. We, got a we have a segment for you. For you. They have a dominant That's quarter. like me not this doing the bud list ne- yeah. on Thursday. Oh this God. is the problem. Hey, Austin Reeves seems to be drawing a See? lot of fouls. Then just lean Ugh. into it. If you, you say, <laughs> I hope the Grizzlies win. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get more from the show and to check out clips from other shows on FS1.